maintenance cause and I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Counter-Strike source server today using the HLDS update tool. Uh, first what you want to do is that you want to go to the main Steam powered website and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the store page and look for the tools tab. When you see this you want to click on Windows HLDS update tool. You got to download this, save it, drag it to your desktop or you can run it from the downloads menu, it does not matter. You want to run it, yes, and then you want to install it to any directory that you you know you can e easily access. For me, I'm going to install it to a test directory, which is located in the C drive. So we're going to go ahead and install that. It comes with a README for just in case you guys get lost in the tutorial. This README will you know tell you basically all the basic steps of setting up the server, how to do it. But first off, we're going to want to you know go to the directory so I can just show you real quick so we have the test and then we have these files here in order to install a server you're gonna to want to open up your command prompt I have mine already here in my recent history but if you can't or you don't know how to find it just type CMD into your search bar you'll find it here make sure to run it as administrator when you run it as administrator then you gotta type in the following command cdc colon slash test or for yours will be you know c colon slash like uh, forward slash or backslash doesn't matter and then the folder directory or the location of where your HLDS update tool is hit enter you'll be now you'll see it's uh, c colon uh, forward backslash whatever you put and then the folder and then you want to type in the following HLDS update tool command update game counter strike source and directory period. The directory period specifies that I want it in this directory and nowhere else and then you're gonna have to hit enter. When you hit enter it's gonna start looking for the you know it's gonna say check your bootstrapper version, it's gonna get the version of the game and it's gonna start installing it. Guys this is gonna take a little while so I'm gonna cut the video off here. Please remember when you do install this it will take maybe up to 10-20 minutes depending on your internet connection and how fast you download all these materials. So let's pause the video for now and I'll be back when this is done. Alright everyone, now that your server is fully installed and ready, you uh, when you go to your directory you will see a CSS folder, you'll see C-Strike and then all your Counter-Strike stuff is here. You now you have your MOTD, you have your map list, map cycle, all the basics. If you want to edit your server config, we'll be locating, oh you guys got to create a server config. I'll probably, actually guys, I'll just... I'll provide you with the server configuration in the description box. It will be on a paste bin, so from there you're good to go. Um, now, basically, what you guys are going to have to do is that you have to run the HLDS update tool command again in order to put the server fully up to date. So, type in the command. And we're going to put the server fully up to date. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you guys how to create a startup. So basically, when you guys want to start up a server, you're going to want to create a shortcut of your source DS tool. The source DS tool is located in the CSS directory of your server. Uh, so you're going to want to go to create a shortcut, drag it to your desktop or anywhere on your computer where you can uh, easily access it. In here, you're going to see the properties menu with when. Uh, Oh yeah, and if you guys didn't know, I'm currently using a Windows XP theme for my Windows 7. Alright, so basically you're going to want to type in a command line. So the command line is going to look something like this. Open up Notepad. So you're going to want to type in game, C strike. You're going to want to do console. Um, the console will make it appear into a console like this. You know, something simple. And then you want to specify the port. So I'm running on port 27015. And then you want to specify the map, the max players, and then just put auto update at the end, and then you should be good to go with this. And then you want to paste it in the target right after the source DS. Guys, make sure that there's a space in between or else this will not work. And then you're going to apply. And after that, just run it. As you see here, the server is now starting up. I allow access to my firewall. Uh, 
oh well this server is not going to start right now because it needs a server configuration but as you guys see it's very simple easy to set up it's not going to you know it's not hard at all uh, if you guys want any more tutorials please uh, please feel free to ask and please leave a comment